Do not attempt what you are about to see at home. This experiment involves extremely lethal potentials and could kill you very easily. Don't do it. This is just a little experiment I'm doing on a uh, DIY high potential electricity distribution line just using a pair of microwave oven transformers. Send electricity at about 1000 volts over 24 gauge wire. Very long distances. I'm approximately about 400 or so feet or 300 to 400 feet from my um, from the transformer feeding this one. Um, I'm running these microwave oven transformers at about a thousand volts instead of their normal 2000 because when I did this experiment uh, many years ago um, I was getting extremely high losses in the transformer because these things are largely designed for delivering lots of power for short periods of time so things like um, magnet of a low um, standby power consumption are not an issue. Also these things are designed to be operated in an in a, um, environment where they've got a fan blowing air on them because there's the cooling fan for the magnetron which also cools the transformer. And so by running them at, a, at half the normal operating potentials um, the uh, flux loading in the core is substantially lower so the core is um, not operating in saturation. And uh, the way I'm doing that is I'm just using a big uh, potential having auto transformer that was, I think, from the um, 1930s or 1940s. It's very old. And um, and um, bloody shiny screen. Um, and uh, so it was originally designed for I think dropping 230 volts and 115 volts or or 220 volts down to 110 volts, so I'm just using it to step the 120 volts down to 60 volts. And um, instead of the 90 watts and 200 volt amperes that the system was using before, now all three of those transformers combined um, are only about 27 watts and 50 odd volt amperes, which is uh, much better. I'm getting about 56 volts. Nope. And that's the auto transformer and the other microwave oven transformer. And you can see down there are some of the uh, insulators for the feed line. Those uh, white things. There's the line again and running some loads. These are some um, 55 volt to 60 volt uh, 5 watt sign lamps. And this is just a little thing I'm going to take a cobble together to uh, run mains. Uh, lights off of this um, regular 120 volt lights off of my uh, experimental uh, power transmission line that's just a potential uh, having slash doubling auto transformer it was originally for switching between 115 volts and 230 volts at least according to a now gone label on it and so I just um, wired a um, plug up to the uh, 115 volt side and a receptacle to the 230 volt side or taps with the um, uh, common shear between the neutral on both the plug and the receptacle and that produces about 111 volts with the other load on the system that's just running a pair of um, 9 watt uh, technical consumer products um, EcoSmart which is a home cheap uh, house brand uh, branded lamps this is a bit of a test. There's another one. And uh, that's one of the lamps I was using earlier. 5 volt, 55 volt, 60 volt. Fairly old. Don't know how old they are, but uh, I guess probably 1960s or 1970s. And here are all the loads on the system at present. Two 9 watt helicraps, 5 watt uh, 60 volt sign lamp, another 5 watt 60 volt sign lamp, 26 watt helicrap, 5 watt sign lamp, two more 5 watt sign lamps. Well, about a little over 
Ähm Five, 51, about 69 watts of uh, lights approximately, and uh, about roughly 100 watts uh, total load on the system right now, and about a little over 100 volt amperes. And this transformer is just slight warm, slightly warmer to the touch. Um, some of my interesting receptacles that I got at Home Cheapo recently, they're ungrounded, but they're patterned, patterned on a grounded receptacle. So as you can see, the um, actual uh, receptacle slots are a bit offset like that. It's somewhat interesting. And again, that's just an old electrical box and a very old T-slot receptacle got yesterday. Transformer again. And just a modified, uh, it's actually not really modified, it's just a um, wire insulator used for antennas. And um, that's actually um, salvaged from my uh, the remains of my 2009 experiments with the stuff which just uses um, micro oven transformers at um, regular mains in and roughly mains out although the combination that I was using at the time I was only getting about a hundred volts out so I had to use a potential boosting auto transformer anyway as I've got a number of these um, 5 volt lamps but I'd like to get more see the edge there It's a thing. And again, this is being pre presented for educational purposes only. Do not attempt this at home, blah, blah, blah. You could die. And that's just the uh, one of the two safety grounds that I have. It's just the, um, it's very crude. It's just the wire. Stripped a couple inches of the uh, wire, of the insulation off of the wire. Wrapped it around a nail, or a, a um, an encoded nail. And, um, just jammed the whole lot into the ground, and I did the same thing at the uh, other thing. That's just to keep any can. This hopefully will pre would prevent any um, dangerous potential um, excursions with all this equipment if something were to happen to the uh, safety ground or the um, main return there, which architecturally is very similar to what's probably powering. A lot of the viewers of this video, if you're living in some kind of a rural area, <coughs> assuming you have mains electricity. And of course, pretty much all these transformers are being underrun, so there's almost no magnetostriction, so they're virtually silent.